So you got your montage and you have Ableton Live, but you're wondering how do I connect the two of these easily, especially using MIDI? Do I need like a bunch of cables and plugs? All you need is USB. Standard USB that you use probably on most controllers if you're an Ableton Live user, like push um, the launch pad and other controllers like that, ABC40. If you have one of these cables laying around, you can connect it real easy. So all you need to do is connect those two and uh, your computer is going to know exactly what's going on. I have a Mac. Uh, I can't speak for PCs. I haven't been a PC user in many years, but I just plug it in. It knows what's up. After you plug in your USB cable, you want to make sure that the montage is sending everything through USB. So I'm going to go up here and hit the utility. And then I'm going to go to MIDI IO and make sure that the MIDI in out is set to USB. So here in Ableton Live, the only thing I need to do is go to my preferences. And then I can go to audio and just say, I want my audio input to be montage. And then I can have my output be montage too. And then you can plug your headphones into the montage. Or if you have an audio interface, you can come out of there or as I'm doing right now, built in. So once that's set up, um, I have uh, the audio set up that way and I can start playing right into it. So I'm just going to make a new audio track and I'm going to set monitor to auto so whenever I have the track armed, I can just play. And there we go. We've got audio set up right into live. Very easy, one cable. As you can see right now um, on the screen on the montage, I'm in the utility and the way that you get there, um, you can just hit this guy right here. You'll get the utility. I'll go back out and then boom, I'm at utility. So it's in standalone version, which um, is for basic things like this. You're just like, hey, audio just comes straight out. Um, but one thing we want to check is pretty much right now, we're going to be dealing um, not with multi out. We're just doing single out like stereo pair. We're not doing anything fancy. Maybe I'll come back to that, but single. So we're going to put that as single channel one and then everything should be cool. So if you're wanting to be able to record MIDI uh, inside of Ableton Live, the great thing about recording MIDI, especially from an uh, instrument like this is if you make any mistakes, you can fix it in post. Uh, I'm not a great keyboard player. I can do decent, um, especially if I kind of prep myself. But you know, if I mess up or I'm unsure and I play the wrong note, I can just move it around because I'm pretty good with timing. So a great thing about uh, the montage and live is, uh, like I said, you can just easily record MIDI into it and then um, fix it later. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. I'm going to go to Instruments, External Instrument, and then I can just drag this guy in. So external instrument allows me to kind of save from having two tracks. Right now I do have two tracks, but before external instrument, what you had to do was bring up a MIDI track, bring up an audio track, and then you would send the MIDI from the MIDI track into a module, then it would come back on the audio track. The external instrument allows you to do both of those just in one track. The only bad thing is you can't um, actually record audio into it. It's recording the MIDI and then playing back the audio. And I'll show you how to, you know, kind of set that up to where you can get the audio in. So I'm going to go over to live here and I'm going to open up preferences. And then I'm going to say uh, montage. I want you to record notes. That's what track is. We're dealing with port one. And then I'm going to say, I want you to receive CC messages from the montage. Next, I'm going to go to the output. So this is what's going out to um, the montage. So we had the in coming in from the in montage, and then we have the out going out to the montage. So I'm going to also put uh, output. I want the notes to go out of live. I want the remote information to go out of live, and I want the tempo to go out of live into the montage. I want live to control the tempo. Once that's there, we've got MIDI to and audio from. So I'm just going to be getting the MIDI uh, to the montage. And then coming back, I'm going to get audio all on the same track. So I can record MIDI into each one of these clips. And then it'll play through the montage and just come back as audio. So 
Once I have that set up, I can... Real simple. One thing to note, uh, since I have node information being sent to the montage and then uh, node information coming from the montage to the live, you could end up with double triggering. So the way to get around that is with their uh, quick setup, and I can go here, uh, MIDI record on DAW. So if I click that guy, you'll see that it goes from keyboard and then the local control is broken, and then it goes out and then comes back in from live and then goes to the tone generator, which is where all the sounds come from. Okay, so let's say you wanna record some of those sweet arpeggiations that Yamaha offers on this keyboard. Uh, what you could do is go to this next uh, quick setup, which is ARP record on DAW. So if you look at the screen and watch when I press, what happens? The arpeggiator gets moved over. So we have the keyboard, then the arpeggiator, then that goes out to live, then it comes back in and then generates the sound. So since it's MIDI, uh, you can use it to play the actual instrument that it's intended for, or you can hijack that and use it for any type of synth that you have inside of live. So now that that's set up, we're gonna go to find an instrument that has a cool arpeggiator. So I'm gonna go back uh, home, I'm gonna click on the title here, search. I'm gonna do guitars, cause that probably has some good ones. And let's see, uh, Modern Finger Hero. And so there's an ARP button right over here, ARP on off. I'm just gonna turn that guy on and then. Cool, so we have the arpeggiator running and just to double check, let's just record something really quick. I'm gonna turn off the count in so we can just see it. Cool, so we're good to go. Uh, in the next video, we're going to just try to put something together using audio, MIDI, um, ARP, and then also a little bit of automation. Cool, see you in the next video.